Warning. Please consult your physician before indulging in double-dose digital content. Side effects may include excessive binge washing and long hours of exposure to light-emitting devices. Hey yo, what's good ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Phil's back at it again. Okay, now we have laid the foundation on nutrition on the previous episode. Now this is the most important part, what I'm going to get into today. Now this goes hand in hand with nutrition and your workout plans. Motivation. Now, how the f*** do you motivate yourself? Eh, wrong question. What motivates you today? That's what matters. What keeps you going? We're all going to hit a point of stagnancy at some point, but that is your turning point. That is when you need to keep pushing yourself to the limit. Now, I told you about me, man. I looked into the mirror and I didn't like what I saw. I hated what I saw. I was fat, unhealthy, but yo, don't get me wrong there, man. I still love me for who I am, you know? And who I am as a person, that doesn't change. I needed to get healthier for myself, for me as a person, for the people around me. And I can tell you damn well it inspired me and the people around me. Everybody that I saw, they were inspired by what I had done to myself. Now I can guarantee you that changed me as a person. The whole process, it changed me and changed the way I was. Yo, this could be different for different people, right? I know guys who just want to get their six pack abs just to like please the ladies or, you know, just for the gram. Like, and even the ladies for the fact that they want to stick their butt out, they want to do it for the gram. You know what? Excuse my French, but f- that. You need to motivate yourself from the inside. It needs to come from you, not for the gram, not for the people. It doesn't matter what the people think. What matters is that you need to look good to feel good. And in order for that, it also works in the other way. It also works the other way. Let me tell you that. You need to feel good to look good. So this is what it doesn't... See, now let me explain more about this. Let me like motivate the f*** out of you motherfuckers, right? I'm not saying it doesn't mean anything to look good. I'm not saying it doesn't mean anything. What comes on the scale, your BMI, etc. man. It doesn't matter. What I'm saying is you could be overweight or you could be a beast. But that doesn't mean you cannot love yourself. What I'm telling you is you need to inspire yourself. You need to be so inspired, so full of love for yourself that you're going to inspire inspire yourself to change. You need to change. And in order for change, you need to be aware of yourself and you need to be inspired and full of love for yourself. And that's all I got to say. So you love yourself enough to be the best version of you. And trust me, man, under all of that layers of fat, under all of that, you know, under all of that insecurity or all of that, whatever you feel like you're wrong, behind all of that lies the best version of you. Nobody's perfect. Everybody has flaws. For me, I saw my flaw when I was getting back into shape back in the day. I saw my flaw. I was aware of who I was as a person. I love myself enough to take that step to make that change. And that's what got me fit. So... This is all I'm going to tell you, man. Vibes are real. So know your vibe and stick to it and be real. Keep it 100 with yourself. Okay, I'll tell you one thing, man. I'll just tell you one thing. This is the most important thing of all of the shit that I just said. If your inspiration and motivation doesn't come from you, from within you, it won't last. You got to be limitless. So be limitless, man. You know what Bruce Lee said? Be like water. Flow like water. Be limitless and I would say never give up but never and give up is not in my dictionary. Yo, so this is where I'm gonna end it right now. It's your boy Phils. Stay fit, get fit with Phils, baby. Yeah! Yeah.